fish in here and then the scraps from the trout. There's a, a jack and something else. A little pig's foot. Oh, nice. All the flavors. All the flavors. What he was saying about if they stop dumping discharges and all this grass, like, oh, I think that's great. Yeah. I'm stoked. See, grass, that's one thing that's a lot of areas around here lack now. Yeah. Because we used to have good scalloping down here in Pine Island Sound. You don't yeah. see that anymore. Yeah, it'll bring so much life back. They put that in the bucket of water or something. Yeah. Those jacks are so much fun to catch, dude. Yeah. They fight like a mule. They're probably size to weight, they're like the hardest fight you fish. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, just yeah. a jack this big. Right. right what do you got here? This is probably just going to go in the cage because that's so big. So, how much do you think you got invested in traps? Uh, hey, look at that. Oh, that's here. a good one. These are like, we got four for 100. Then I had to buy these things. Uh, You're allowed to have think, five though, right? Yeah. Okay. I already had that short one. Okay. Um, he gave, came with a ball, but I didn't like the line. I like this line better. Okay. Well, 150 bucks, 200 bucks in traps. Bucks. 200 bucks in traps. After you're all said and done. Right. The commercial guys, they'll build them. Like they're pretty easy to build. Right. You buy the wire, but you buy the wire. But this is all like... to build like 19 traps, like 150 bucks for the wire. So if you figure it out, then you got to get your hope, your hog ring. Well, if you, yeah, if you did it, if you did 19 traps and then sold off what you didn't what? use, then it would be worth it. Well, this guy I bought them from, he had them like three weeks before I bought them. Then they sold. And then he had them again. I said, like, hey, I'm going to try to get down there. He sold them. I said, like, so you sell a lot? He goes, yeah, I sell all of them. Wait, well, yeah, that's business. not a bad idea. If you just do 19 at a time, too, it's small batches. It's not overwhelming. It's yeah. portable. We should do it with batch or two because you want to do a batch for Tracy, right? Yeah. So why don't we build a set of, I mean, I'll go in with you and I want a batch. If we had 15 traps, bro, we got like a full line. Like on my boat, just cover the back deck with cardboard or whatever. Yeah. Put all up. the traps on there. Put all 15, we can go, whatever. You want to go out to Pine Island or something, we could drop them wherever we want, really. Drop all the traps and we could run around with this thing on a nice day and for a week or two, pull them and bait them, pull them and bait them. Yeah. And we can go out, out again like a week later. Right. So that's the thing, it's how, what's the soap time like though? That's the 24 big, to 48 hours. If I pull it, Pull the crab, rebait well, it, and put it back in. Is that legal? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so you can absolutely. leave them out there indefinitely. Yeah. Okay. I'll see. You just got to go out there every two days to pull them. Right. Now, stone traps, they check those every like seven to ten days. First one's off that little mock makeshift lighthouse. Okay, you can just set like one or two here. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So what's we, this? Huh? That's not even open. Though. No, because I didn't have enough of these. Uh, I had to close them off. Okay. We got three more traps. How much you got? Probably enough, right? Yeah, I never marked the second one. We'll go back out and mark it. Mark it. All right, hold on a second. No rush. All right, hey, whenever.
me get back where I was. Nerves still wanting to pinch me.
trying to get me. for me tonight. 